What the fuck? Why is my camera here? Why is it down here? Usually, okay, hear me. Usually, you're over there. Why are you here? You fucking kidding. God damn. These are the hippo switches from the Kinetic Labs. They are a linear switch with a 55 gram actuation force and a 63.5 bottom out. Actuation travel is at two millimeters with a total travel of four millimeters. The switches are made of a nylon housing and an unwhite stem with springs made of stainless steel, all coming unlubed. Okay, so the switches stock. These switches stock aren't that bad at all. Like they sound stock and have that stock feeling to them where it's scratchy but they still are pretty smooth for a stock switch. Would I use these stock? I, probably not but I do think if they have lube they will have a nicer feel but in the end they're stock switches. I'm not using them. I don't think anybody will use them as stock switches. Not that there's anything wrong with stock switches but like Nobody's using that shit. Now, how about the switches lubed? Are they smoother? Do they feel better? Blah, blah. Switches lubed feel smooth. These switches feel pretty nice when they are lubed up, but the sound of these switches changed significantly for me at least. But as I say again, sound varies when it comes to switches, keycaps, boards, mounting systems, desk mats, house, table, fucking literally anything can affect the sound of a switch. Also, I filmed these switches with 0.15 TX films, and I think they're a bit too tight to use with these switches. Like, they work, but I think 0.125 would be better. Maybe even going filmless would be fine as well. So just a just a reminder. So would I recommend these switches? Eh. Here's the thing. I legit have like I legit have like a hundred I could show it to you right now. I have a hundred look at the fucking don't ignore that. I'm gonna blur that shit. I have a hundred fucking switches over there. And you think you think these switches are gonna be better than at least two of those? I don't think so. But anyway, anyways, anyways. With those in mind, I think there are plenty of switches in this collection that are smoother and sound better than the Hippo switches. But, but, I still think these switches are still worth the purchase in my opinion. It isn't something I would daily drive, but for sure it's a switch that someone out there will definitely like. I mean, like, Full nylon housing is pretty similar to a lavender switch, you know? But I still think the lavenders are smoother than the hippo switches, in my opinion at least. So, costing $36.40 for 70 switches or 52 cents per switch, these switches are a smooth linear switch as a lube switch and possibly even a stock switch, and is a switch that I can recommend to people who would enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I have other content as well on this channel. If you like that, hit that subscribe button. I also have a Twitch. I try to stream every Wednesdays and Fridays at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I might be changing up the schedule. Who knows? I think 11 p.m. is way too fucking late. I stream at twitch.tv slash down. Here's a clip. Some of the things that I do over there. Light wave. You know, like, like the light.
but in the waveform, you know, like a sine cosine. Or you do a very light version of a wave. You go like very slight wave. Instead of like yeah, going, yeah. Like, going like this, you go like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.